Chris Dukarski, OrthoWell PT, running performance training once again. So a little running technique drill. Um, got your sobriety lines here we're going to be using here for our, our drill. A um, couple, three things that we work on with this exercise. Cadence, basis support, and heel strike, okay? Um, what we find a lot when we do the posterior view, the back view on the huddle technique, is when people are running, they tend to run and they cross the midline, okay? As they're crossing the midline, their feet, your, their foot is almost hitting their opposite shin as they're swinging through, okay? And another real common thing is their hips drop. As they bear weight here, their hip drops on the opposite side, thus allowing that leg to cross the midline, okay? So that's definitely something we are gonna address with this drill. Um, number two, how you strike, your heel strike, right? So um, most, not well, most professional runners heel strike. Right? Whether it be a heel tap, a heel touch, or a heel strike, that's more the debatable thing. Because most people, most professional runners will hit, just, just touch their heel, but then they load on the midfoot. Okay? A lot of amateur runners literally strike with, with huge impact load and overreach. Okay? So if you strike on the heel and you overreach and your foot's in front of your knee, you're putting a lot of impact load into the knee and the rest of the system. Okay, so you want to try to transition those people if we can, if they're having pain, that is, to more of a midfoot strike. Okay? Um, the last thing is cadence. So um, certainly not the least important of the three. So uh, most professional runners, um, 165 to 180, we want to kind of get you up to that point as well if we can. We see a lot with our running performance training here, anywhere from 135, 130 to 150. And that's running pretty slow. Um, and probably with a wider stride and a heavier heel strike, okay? So what we try to do with this exercise is address all those three things, okay? So we put, you know, the sobriety lines on here, and initially I'll just have people get in and just midfoot strike, march back and forth, okay? March back and forth. And what you're trying to do is you're kind of, you're neurophysiologically trying to retrain the system with this. And that's a big word, but um, yeah, you're trying to retrain the nervous system. Okay, back and forth. So I'm essentially trying to keep my feet shoulder width apart. It's going to feel very foreign to people that tend to have a really narrow base of support. Okay, so and then progress essentially to just a jog. You're jogging and you're watching the line. You're watching the line all the way through. You're trying not to crisscross, not crisscross, but you're trying not to cross the midline. Okay, back and forth. Okay, and of course this looks very robotic. It looks kind of weird sort of thing, and it's gonna feel really weird to people that have really weak abductors and like to cross the midline, okay? What you could do if you got a, you know, a back road, you know, you live in a not so busy area, I would not advise this for a freeway at all, but the center line on the road. You know, got the line in the middle, one foot on each side of the line, and you try to keep that spread, right? Now I'm pretty bow-legged, so mine looks a little bit more exaggerated here than it would on most people, okay? Then you start to progress towards your jogging, boom, back and forth back and forth. And with this, you're actually decreasing the stride length, you're increasing the cadence, and over time, you know, these little drills will definitely help to train and make better those things that are inhibiting your ability to move forward as a competitive runner, okay, or a recreational runner. So with that said, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.